And you're welcome back. And we've been joined by a very gorgeous lady. And I don't just say that lightly. Now, the face of Lamo 2021, Gulibe Mwagwe, Angela. Now, she's an entrepreneur model. Um, she's a makeup artist, beauty influencer, and a content creator. Welcome to the show, Gulibe. Thank you very much. What does Gulibe mean? Rejoice. Re yes. What are you looking to do next after this? <sighs> I'm going to take this whole makeup thing, this whole Gulibe, this Rejoice. Brand. <laughs> Where are you going to take it? What's it going to do? Definitely. I plan on furthering my makeup career. And I am also I also studied psychology in the university. So I'm oh. a psychology graduate. And I am so keen about mental health and mental health advocacy. Brand. And so I just want to, you know, be that person who would spread more news about mental health in Nigeria. cold and the cold is getting into my nose and I've started coughing. I didn't cough this morning but because of the cold I'm coughing. So I decided to come outside and outside is really warm so I'm just going to be here for a few and then go back inside, wear my shoes and yeah from there. It's still quite early. The live is supposed to start. The interview is meant to start by 7. It's like 6 40 something right now so we're still early and i'm sure i would be able to start like my segment wouldn't be by seven and dogs probably like seven thirty minutes but i want to be done with this early i'll go back home because i need to sleep guys i'm so tired i had an outing yesterday and i came back by like 11 by like 11 past 11 and i slept by past 12 i literally slept this morning i had to wake up at like three o'clock so it was a real struggle for me guys so i'm tired i was really dozing off in the car on my way here nah i'm tired i need to go and sleep i need to go and sleep but the thing is i have a lot to do oh my god anyway see you guys uh, inside hopefully i get someone to record a video for me yeah, I'm so excited. Oh my god! Ooh, I've just been taking this in. I've really just been taking this in because it's a true country. I'm going to be on TV in a few minutes. God, I thank you so much. Before I start getting emotional, don't mind me, I'm lying. I'm not going to get emotional. But yeah. See you guys. Mm -hmm. 
Seven minutes. Okay, that's what So you have to be very fast about it. Uh, mm -hmm. And I trust. I trust. Yeah. I'm documenting this for my YouTube channel. So they're going to see my journey first time on TV. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that's always the first time for everything. Mm -hmm. And today, your journey just yes. started. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so they're currently um, having a session, I think a cooking session right now. So then I'm going to be next and I'm talking for seven minutes, which is very good because I don't know if I want to talk for long. <laughs> oh my god, see you guys. Welcome back and we've been joined by a very gorgeous lady and I don't just say that lightly. Now the face of Lamo 2021, Golibe Mwangwe, Angela. Now she's an entrepreneur model, um, she's a makeup artist, beauty influencer and a content creator. Welcome to the show Golibe. Thank you very much. What does much. Golibe mean? Rejoice. Rejoice. Oh, nice. Oh, there's that song Golibe, Golibe, rejoice, rejoice. It all makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> Good to have you here. So you're Thank a content you. creator, you're a makeup artist. Makeup artists, I realize when you meet them, they often have a particular kind of makeup they like to put on when they're going out to see people, to meet people, or to be on TV. It's often nude, and that's what you're displaying today. Am I correct? Yes. Why is are. that a thing? I feel like it's because we don't want to stress too much to wear makeup ah. on ourselves, as opposed to putting makeup on other people. We have more time, we want to focus more, okay. and, you know, yeah, serve them better. Mm. So we're going to talk about that. Along with that, we're also going to talk about makeup for men. So get ready okay. because I think it's a thing that's actually coming to, you know, the fore mm. nowadays. Um, let's talk about the art of makeup, make it, doing makeup. It's something that people just write on their Instagram page, MUA, makeup mm. artist. But it's actually a profession. And for someone mm. like you, you actually do this. Uh, you make money from it, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay. Actually, I make more money from content creating, mm. but at the side, I do makeup for other people. So nice. most times, I do content creating. I create makeup looks on my face and then post on social media platforms, and then brands locate me and send me. What's the interest when you do makeup for just you, put it on uh, Instagram? What are they looking to, uh, what are they attracted to? To sell their brand. They want to sell, to sell their brand. Often makeup brands. Yeah, makeup, stuff skincare, like that. skincare, hair. It could be hair as well, because okay. you could do makeup and look nice, and a hair brand will want to reach out to you and be like, oh, you look mm. good. Could okay. you, you know, um, right. advertise for my hair brand? All right, so let's cross into gender now. Um, there are also makeup artists who are male, um, female makeup artists who are, okay. okay. People who provide services for uh, for, for women but mm -hmm. are male. Mm -hmm. And it seems like it's the bigger part of the industry now. I see more male makeup, makeup artists. artists than uh, female makeup artists. Why is this a thing? Anybody can do makeup. Oh, definitely. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Anybody can. Why are the ladies sitting back and letting the guys take are the, a Are the ladies sitting back? Yes, I feel like are. it's because um, when you see a male doing makeup, it's like, wow. So mm -hmm. more attention goes okay. to them because, wow, this, this is a man. Do you think they could make more money? Yes, of course. Mm, why? I feel like, well, people would sometimes want to work with male makeup artists and female makeup artists because they feel like maybe they may be calmer, uh. you know, no mood swings and all of that. <laughs> no <laughs> mood swings. <laughs> she said uh. I didn't. <laughs> well. <laughs> Interesting facts there. I would never have thought of that, but it's all Actually, good. All right, let's talk about male makeup. So since I started live television only uh, a year and a half ago, I realized that I've become, I have a, I have a, a set upstairs, which I often look at, oh, I'm, I'm ex this is expiring. I need a new one. I need a certain kind of color, a blend of this. I'm interested in it. And I actually discovered that there are men who don't go out without makeup. Even on a regular day, men are beginning to use makeup. Um, this is not a concern, but what do you think about this? Is it something that men should regularly just wake up in the morning, they're going to work in a bank and then put on makeup and everything? I feel like do whatever you're happy with. I mean, I appreciate it when I see some men, are also content creators, wear makeup and it looks good. Your skin work is good, your brows are looking good and you're looking nice. Hmm. I don't see anything wrong. I mean, people see something wrong with that, but I don't see anything wrong with it. If you were here and you wore makeup and your skin work was really nice, I would be like, wow, I love your makeup. I just appreciate the beauty. And if it makes you happy, then why should anybody be concerned? 
Fantastic. I absolutely agree with you. This is what I thought myself. So um, we want to talk about your beauty queen experience. Now, you have experience. Uh, from what uh, uh, year was that? This year. This year, okay. July. Okay. And I, you came out as? The winner of Face of Lamud. Face of Lamud. Now, how was that experience for you? <sighs> it was, it was mind-blowing. It was so many things. It taught me a lot. It was my first ever like major competition that I actually won. I had actually been trying previous in mm -hmm. the previous years, but I didn't win or didn't even place. But then this year, I told God that, God, this is the year, and I participated. What did it take to win? Was it just about your abilities? For, so or? we had tasks. We um, actually, basically, you just had people to vote for you, and then that was okay. like the main criteria okay. to winning, right? But every week, we had tasks. The competition went on for one month. It was an online competition. Virtual. Okay. Yes, and we had tasks every. We had tasks every week, and I feel like the more ta the more effort you put into your task, the more you know mm -hmm. you look like or are placed as a potential winner. But the main criteria was you know getting the highest votes. The person with the highest amount of votes mm -hmm. yeah. won, and then but obviously I was... it's Instagram is a visual thing. So exactly. the better you are at these things, mm -hmm. so you're gonna. No, it wasn't even on Instagram. It was on a website, so okay, people yeah. had to pay. Oh, okay. Vote. Okay, yeah. well, that's good. That's very good. Now, um, regarding that, uh, uh, being a beauty queen, no, not a beauty queen, but a face for face uh, um, a the, brand. Yeah. What are you, What are you looking to do next after this? <sighs> I'm gonna take this whole makeup thing. This whole gully bit. Just rejoice. Brand. Where are you going to take it? What's it going to do? Definitely. I plan on furthering my makeup career. And I'm also, I also studied psychology in the university. So I'm oh. a psychology graduate. And I am so keen about mental health and mental health advocacy. Brand. And so I just want to, you know, be that person who would spread more news about mental health in Nigeria. You know, and also help people who are mm. mentally disabled or people who basically have impairments. And just tell the world more, and Nigeria most especially, because yeah, yeah. it's a topic that I mean, yeah, it's growing now. It away, yeah, it's growing now. Yeah. So when you say something, let's say for example, oh, he has schizophrenia, they're like, no, there's nothing like that. God forbid. Oh, let's mm -hmm. take him for deliverance and all yeah. of that. I just want to be that voice to ah. speak to people. It's it's not something to be discriminated for. Yeah. But you can you know, look for it ways. It has to be a conversation that people have to talk mm -hmm. about. Gulik Bey, yeah. you are not just beautiful, you are also intelligent. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank we'll be looking forward me. to your future efforts, especially when it comes to mental health as well. Thank you. All righty. Well, thank you very much for watching, people. We still... Hi, guys. So, it's been a week, exactly one week, since I had my interview. And I am finally speaking about it you're here it means you watch okay before i go on to see you guys please 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 if you're new here and you haven't clicked on the subscribe button below please do that for me to help my channel yeah so welcome one more time let us chat i just want to thank god I just want to thank god for everything the way my life has played this year, 2021, has been a miracle. I literally have no control over everything that's happening. How I got the opportunity to be interviewed on TV is still mind-blowing. I'm just going to tell you guys the short story and also give my gratitude. So, Wednesday morning, 17th Wednesday in November 2021, I was scrolling through my Instagram page, my Instagram feed, and I stumbled upon a picture of a host on TBC, which happens to be my pageant coach. Her name is Winfrey Dania Okolo. I stumbled on her page and I just decided to open her profile and just scroll through her page. And in my head, I'm like, she's doing so well it would be so cool if i could get interviewed by her one day that was all that was on my mind and like lightly i just you know left the instagram app and continued with my day fast forward to a few hours later i got a text message from my coach winfrey saying if she would if i would love to be interviewed on the show i screamed i was like how 
I'm going to put this screenshot here so you guys can see. I was like, what? How? I just thought about this some hours ago and... Ooh, and that's when I got the opportunity to be on the TV. I got interviewed. I got support from so many of you, my friends, my close friends, my beauty influencer, family, community. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I have always wanted to be on TV. And I kind of already knew that it would happen because I mean, I'm trying so hard to make things work for myself. Of course, I see myself doing well in the future and of course, what I do, what people will want to hear from me. So yeah, I saw myself being on TV sometime in my life, but I didn't see it coming this soon. Honestly, I didn't see it coming this soon. And funny thing is, wait for it. My mom was interviewed on this same TV station a few years back. I went to try to insert a short clip. Do and not do. We have joining us now Dr. Chika Nguigwe. Uh, she is in the studio with us. She is a representative of the Cancer Education and Advocacy Foundation of Nigeria, Sifone. She's also an anatomic pathologist. It's nice to have you join us this morning. Thank you. Nice to be here. Right. Yeah. We have been talking. So, my mom was interviewed on the same TV station a few years back, and I was so excited to watch her. Fast forward to a couple of years later, her daughter is now interviewed, and sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I was actually on TV. Is it true? I just wanted to come on here and personally thank all of you for supporting me, for reposting my interview, for staying up as early as it's 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock to watch my interview, for watching the rerun, you all that came here to watch the interview as well. I'm grateful for all of you and I pray that as you continue to celebrate with me, you too will, will will be celebrated and all i'm just going to say is keep pushing you're going to have downs but you're also going to have ups and you're definitely going to see results of everything <laughs> thank you so much one more time thank you so much thank you thank you god so if you're watching this and you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you're watching this and you feel led to share my channel on your story or any social media platform your whatsapp status your twitter your instagram please don't hesitate to do that for you guys see you guys next time